All right, so I am not running late, but I'm not running on time. Different period penny, black owned period penny company called Yoni Talk. Late, but I'm also not on time. Oh, I wish I had a better angle of wearing these. I should. My body looks good. Y'all, my body looks good, and I will say, um, what's his name? Mr. London here on YouTube. His his workouts have been the only workouts that work for me. I did my makeup um, right now. Wow. I mean, the makeup is makeup a professional from Benefit with the combination of the Milk Hydro Glow. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie. I'll never tell you a lie. Period penny. Oh, static. Don't think there's a stain on it. But this is from, oh, there are stains on the back. But what am I gonna do? Like not wear the coat? All right, let's see how this looks together. I'm wearing this. I'm trying to see where I can, you guys can't see it, whatever. Like you get, you get the idea. It's basically a black and cream outfit. Today it's 1.13. I wanted to get there at two. I still gotta go to the bank. Yeah, so I need to actually cut this vlog. TikTok, I don't know. Cause I'm always gonna be referencing TikTok. I'm trying to get the light, but the light doesn't want to come get. I, um, whatever. We gonna talk about it later. Bye. Why do men feel like they need to tell you that they are attracted to you or that you are attractive? And not in a compliment way, in a way of, I find you attractive. I wish that we could be together. You don't fucking know me. You are, you like my beauty and you like my energy. That's it. Like, you don't know me. And I know, that I understand that you want to get to know me, but how about you let me give you permission first? How about you let me give you permission first? Anyway, have y'all ever had a French 55? Next time you go to a restaurant, order bing, a French 55 because it is feminine, it is dainty, it is delicious, it is good, it'll get you tissy, it'll get you right, okay? It's good. I had one for the first time today after seeing it on a Netflix show, on a Netflix, like um, that bartending Netflix competition show. Anyway, I'm going to package some orders. It's 7.58 p.m. right now. I'm going to package up some orders, get those out tomorrow, because I'm not doing it Tuesday. I don't want to do them on Wednesday. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get that ready. So I am starving, and when I'm hungry, I'm not in a good mood. I am not my best self, so, I right, some rice. I can eat some tonight, eat some tomorrow, some naan. Wash my hands. Cause I don't want non uh 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 germs. Uh uh <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what I ordered. To me, you can like never go, oh. So let me take y'all on my journey of getting my first and last silk press for my delicate 4C hair. So what attracted me to this hairstylist was that she uses vegan products, vegan black owned products. Um, obviously all the girlies on the internet had me fooled thinking that me, I could get a silk press. So here we are, um, deep conditioning, a drier moment, okay. She starts straightening my hair. My hair feels super, super soft. Um, you see the length? I know you see the length, okay, inches. Okay, Brazilian inches. And um, she cut it, which I was fine with. And then I left the salon looking like I was running for a presidential, presidential campaign. And then my hair has not been able to go back to its natural pattern. But right now I am using a black owned product called Hydration Therapy. Black woman owned, black owned, 100% natural using mint and thyme and rosemary, which you guys know help the follicles to activate and increase the blood flow. So definitely check her out at hydrationtherapy.hair and made in LA. So yeah, that's my first and last silk press ever. I'm going to be going on a three day juice cleanse. Yeah, come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be having 
a three-day juice cleanse here we are um, this is not sponsored I just had to find the cheapest um, juice cleanse company and this is the brand called juiced non GMO certified and yeah we're gonna get into that it's gonna be three days I am doing it for spiritual reasons I'm doing it for body reasons I've been very gluttonous um, I don't like that for me so we're gonna be doing three day juice cleanse we're gonna be praying we're gonna be meditating and I got three days of juices for eighty dollars other brands were like 90 somewhere up to almost a hundred dollars um so yeah have i done juice cleanses before yes have i done like um fasting and things like that before yes but as we are ending um as we are in winter season i'm not gonna say we end in the year because i don't believe the year the new year starts january 1st uh, if you've been here for a long time you know that i know that the new year is in spring so but these three months are really important for um, for us to integrate what we have learned during these past couple months. And um, if you need assistance in really deepening your shadow work, deepening your inner child work, please make sure that you get my e-course, which is right now a dollar and eleven cents. Okay, I can't do the work for you. No one is coming to save you. No one can do the healing work for you but you. But as a healing facilitator, I have the content. I have the, the tools to assist you on your own healing journey, okay? Because you deserve to be empowered in your healing journey. So these next three months, December, January, February, are so important on making sure that you are going to be mentally, physically, emotionally ready for the blessings, huge blessings that are coming in March in the new year. So if you want to start working out, work out now. If you want to start eating right, eat right now. Um, if you want to start healing some things, forgiving some people, letting some people go, just start right now so that you can be fresh and open for March. All right. So, what's the first juice? <laughs> what's the first juice, y'all? All right. I'm wearing my Madewell earrings, Madewell necklace, Etsy, Madewell, Madewell sweater, cost jeans. Um, I love it. Hi, good morning. Today is day two. I didn't really show you what the juices are, but I will say I feel so much energy. So this is the Lean Clean. This is kale, cucumber, apple, lime, and ginger. And the bottle tells you all the different um, nutrients that each juice has. And then we've got KD Power, spinach, apple, mint, pineapple, lemon, cucumber. And again, this was $82 for three days. But I had so much energy when I came home from work, which is usually not the case. I usually feel slumped down, super destroyer. This one was my least favorite. This is beet, apple, carrot, lemon. This was so good. Probably my favorite apple, ginger, lemon, cayenne. All right, what is, I keep walking back and forth in the hallway because, oh, it's 6.45, I gotta go. All right, so I have to look at the website, but I'm pretty sure the first juice is like the lean lean and clean they got lean and clean which has kale cucumber apple lime and ginger and then they have kd power which is spinach apple mint pineapple cucumber lemon i might actually just do that first and then you take a juice every two hours so i'll keep you guys up to date but for right now your girl has got to go to work all right so right now i have a mask in my hair the briogeo don't despair repair mask and <clears throat> I am hungry. That is an update right now. I'm hungry. I was hungry by the third juice. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I didn't give in though. I didn't give in though. I stayed strong. Strong now. I'm just gonna be drinking water. I'm just gonna be drinking water um, for the rest of the evening. I don't know if it's cheating, but I am going to have a hot cacao, hot, hot cacao. I'm going to have cacao with oat milk, and that is going to be my saving grace. Also, this amazing black-owned brand called Hydration Harabi. Harabi? This amazing black-owned, woman-owned, black-owned brand called Hydration Therapy sent me her hair growth oil um, with results showing in about a month. And it is made with olive oil, rosemary, thyme, and mint. Increases blood flow to hair follicles for rapid growth, dry scalp, scalp, eczema, alopecia. 
and you can use it as a hot oil treatment or not but see like you can see the herbs at the bottom super beautiful packaging I'm excited to use it i'm gonna mostly be using it on my edges and really on my scalp too actually so today besides the fast i went to therapy today and i'm really i went to therapy today and i had a good fucking cry i feel a little lightheaded i'm not gonna lie my body is just so used to eating but it can eat itself okay it can eat itself um got some really great news about my health today oh my god i got some amazing news um so i'm so thankful for that so please y'all count your blessings especially when it comes to your health and wellness count your blessings oh i'm gonna go to therapy again tomorrow and yeah, I'm not sure if I want to talk about what I'm going, what I'm talking about in therapy. I feel like it's nothing new to, to y'all. But a breakthrough that I had was, you know what? Maybe I am going about dating all wrong. Maybe I'm going about it all wrong. Maybe I need to um, change some shit up. And not so much apps but more like i always tell y'all putting that energy out there so maybe that's what i could do more of i could just instead of assuming to expect a certain type of people or man out when i go when i go out how about assuming and expecting that i will always meet incredible people out and about on the town you know I gotta change up um, what's going on in my mind first in order to see it in my reality. So that's a little teeny weeny bit of what's going on in therapy for me. So I'm gonna sit on the ground, watch some, actually, let me go get another towel. I'm gonna watch Insecure. And I'll be back tomorrow. So I had all the juices, my Honestly, all of them are so, except the beet one, not my fave. That beet juice is not my favorite at all. That was a little bit hard. That was a little hard to drink. Um, but other than that, my body was like, oop. My body was like, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. All right, so today I'm gonna go see a Nutcracker Ballet and I just made a Moon Cycle smoothie. This is Shatavari root, marshmallow root, fenugreek, um, banana, dark cherries, and water and kale. It's really good, but I'm gonna put it in the fridge. It's a little bit warm. So if I have not had a cramp in like three years, okay? And the only time I've ever had cramps in three years is because I was overindulging the week before my period. Your brain, your stomach is your second brain. What you eat affects everything, okay? So your, your um, digestive system shouldn't be working super hard while your body is already working hard at clearing out your uterine, your uterus, okay? So you want to make sure that the week before your period and during your period, you're just eating as light and as nutritious as possible okay you want to make sure that you're getting in grains that you're getting in greens that you're getting in colorful food this is going to be easier for your body to digest and that's going to make sure that your digest that your womb is not doing so much more work than it has that your body isn't doing so much more work than it has to so i also recommend yoni steaming yoni steaming as many times as you can during in a month right like everyone is different sometimes i feel called to yoni steam sometimes i will intentionally yoni steam twice a month it's up to you but i do feel like yoni steaming has made i have seen an improvement for, with my diet and yoni steaming taking my probiotics um 
during my moon cycle has made a huge difference in um, and the way that I engage with my moon cycle too, like I honor my blood, I honor my cycle, I give thanks for when um, I start to bleed and I understand that when I'm having PMS, I'm always telling myself, okay, I'm having PMS, I'm having PMS and even I'm trying to make sure that I, there are a few times where I have not had PMS and, um, and um, yeah, there are times where I have not had PMS, so I'm just trying to get back to that, so I'm trying to figure out what roots and what, um, fruits and veggies that I need to take in order to do that but um yeah I'm gonna get ready to go to the <gasps> ballet Ooh, hey. why am I acting like I'm going salsa dancing I'm going to the ballet okay let's get ready postures for an extended amount of time it is very normal armpit with your right hand bringing your right shoulder I hope y'all can't hear Emily in Paris in the background. And I did not cut it nicely. I didn't cut it well. Is it doing anything? Because most of the time I'm not. Is it doing anything for my personality? Is it doing anything for my aura? Is it doing anything for my energy? Ooh, I got hair in my eye. Definitely got two scissor happy. This is from Rad Swan. I think this is style number two, I think. Lovely. Like, Ew. Cut my hair. Cut my wig. Fuck. I fucked this wig up. Alright. R.I.P. to this wig. Even if I pull it back, I'm... You know what? I think it's okay to say this just does not look good. This was buy one, get one free. This is about to be the free one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, I... So, I had a deep, deep, deep meditation with my inner child, embracing my own love and God's love over my grandmother's love. And I'm not going to get too much into it, but just understanding that it's really important to let your love overshadow, overpower the love that you got from your parents, especially if your love and God's love, obviously, is way more magnificent than the love of your family. Sometimes you will hold on to the love that your family gave you as the end all be all of your ability to receive and to give. Or your ability to receive and to not have it reciprocated whatever your situation is but it's so important to really just like let that go and like just say thank you thank you for what you could give me and i am now moving on and 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 thank you for what you gave me thank you for what you gave me out of survival i am now taking my own love and God's love and moving forward. And that's what your ancestors would want for you anyway. That's what the previous generation, whether they say it or not, that's what your lineage wants from you anyway, is to move beyond the love that they could give you, is to move beyond the love that they were able to give you, you know? We all have that one person in our family that loved us a little bit more than the others. But keyword on a little bit. Do we deserve to be a little bit a loved a little bit more than zero? No. And that's where I'm at. I'm sure that's where you're at. So yeah. Right now, I'm just making, I just took some scotch bonnet pepper, kale, coconut oil, onion, garlic, maggi cube, bu bouillon, garlic, if I didn't say that already, blending it together, gonna cook it down, and rice, and that is what I'm gonna eat. I have not gone to the grocery store. I, so this is literally what I have in the house. And I'm just gonna cook that down. It's gonna become like a stew, and that's gonna be dinner.
Good morning, beautiful ones. It is the next day. I am making a cherry ginger apple cider vin vinegar spirulina with a dash of lime smoothie. I want something tart this morning for work. I got 15 minutes to get ready, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I also made a jar of some lemon ginger tea with a tea bag of chamomile and other flowers and herbs. This is super hot, warm, so this is going to help me feel like warm and full because you know these juices are cold so yeah i will say even though i feel hey y'all purr even though i feel energized even me just getting up i felt a little lightheaded right i feel a little lightheaded um focus i feel a little lightheaded um so i just have to be mindful to like move slower my bernie my body doesn't have like the usual like carbs or sugars so it's operating in a different way so um i just don't have that much like i don't know it's like i feel energized but then i also feel like slightly weak <laughs> i feel weak <laughs> All right, so I'll catch up with you all. I'll catch up with you guys uh, later on today. Peace. This is the Shumami salad from Sweet Green, baby. Completely vegan. Flavorful as fuck, delicious as fuck, filling as fuck. They just opened up a sweet green down the street from my apartment. Yum, y'all. Wow. I have not had this in years. Mmm. Damn. It's got beets, kale, tofu. This delicious miso sesame dressing, mushrooms, cucumbers, rice, and it's a warm salad. Salad, ho! Mmm, mmm.